Hey guys, what's going on? It's Nock. Welcome along to a brand new video and the start of a brand new series. We're going to kick things off today with the start of Human Resource Machine. This is a game which um, Deathwish808 was playing um, sometime, I think, end of last year. Uh, and he was like struggling on a level and he's like, oh, let's, you got any input on this being a programmer and stuff? Uh, and then he said, oh, you should, you should really play it. So I bought it, not got around to playing it. But today that changes. We're going to start our human resource machine um, adventure today. All right, so we've got to select an employee ID. Uh, have your phone somewhere. Which one is yours? Uh, let's go for the blue one. It's blue's nearest purple, right? Yes, of course. It looks just like me. Can't you see the resemblance? I don't, I don't even know. It's like down here. I, 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 I'm sorry. Yeah. Can you see the resemblance? I don't know. It's whatever. <laughs> let's get to the elevator. All right. So, seems like we're going to start off in the mailroom as, you know, most people do start off in the mailroom in a big organization. I want to get up here. It's coffee time. Coffee time sounds like fun. This is my sort of place. Mail one, mail one, mail room, year one. Welcome to your first day. You look like an excellent instruction follower. Your first job will appear over there on the right side in a moment. Remember, you can always ask me for help. Okay. Drag commands into this area to build a program. Your program should tell your worker to grab each thing from the inbox and drop it into the outbox. So, inbox, outbox. That's right, right? Uh, run your program when you're ready. I don't know what that does. Not enough stuff in the outbox. Management expects a total of three items. Okay, so let's do this, this. I didn't realize we had to do it all in one go. It doesn't actually tell me that I need three items anyway, does it? Oh, well. anyway. And let's speed things up. Yeah. We successfully completed our first year. Your presence is requested on the next floor. Now we get to move up to the busy mail, mail room. Year two. Well, it looks like you've made it this far. Congratulations on your promotion. Most people stress out and quit before making it this far. But I can tell you have a bright future in inbox outbox management. Here is your new assignment. Grab each thing from the inbox room in the outbox. You can get a new command. You get a new command. You can drag jumps arrow to jump different lines within your program. With this ability, you can complete the assignment using a total of only three commands. So, inbox, outbox, jump, back to here. Right? That'd be right, right? Right, right. Yeah, there you go. Boom. This is my sort of thing, man, programming. Sod coffee time, I'm going for coffee right now. Alright, we have been promoted to the copy floor. Year three. <clears throat> oh no, the inbox conveyor system is completely broken. But that doesn't mean we get, we get to take a break from work. Okay. Bug, the facilities management staff has placed some items over there on the carpet for you. If only there was a way you could pick them up. Okay. So... What does the copy from do? Oh, uh, okay. Copy from there. Outbox. So we can specify where we want to copy things from. Oh, we need to spell bug. Okay. The jump's not going to be helpful, though, is it, in this instance? So... Ah, uh, okay. I don't see how we can use the copy, because we need a different variable each time. So, let me just think. Yeah, we need a different... We need a different... Um, okay, let's, let's run it. Let's see what they say. Oh, 
Alright, well, we got a tick. I thought with Death when Deathwish played it and I was like looking at him on the level he was doing, there was like um like a review of like how many steps you're doing and whether or not you can improve them or not, but maybe that comes at a later date. Anyway, Scramble Handler is Year Four's assignment. Conveyor system is fixed. And just in time for you to get to work. That data the data won't collate itself. Alright. You've got a new command. Feel free to copy to wherever you like on the carpet. It will be cleaned later. Grab the first two things from the inbox and drop them into the outbox in the reverse order. Okay, so what we're going to do is inbox copy two zero inbox outbox copy from zero Outbox. Jump. So, get the thing off the inbox, put it on the floor. Get the next thing from the inbox, put it on the outbox. Then we take a copy from what's on the floor. Yeah, okay, I think that should work. I think that should work. Is that right? Did we do that right? I don't know. I sped it up that, that much that so I'm not really sure. <laughs> Seems like we got green ticks though. Huzzah! Right. Coffee time. Year five. Just gonna have a year long coffee break. Back to work, everyone. Well, that was a quick year. Oh, breaking news. that be us? Could we not be doing our job properly? Alright, rainy summer. Achievement unlocked! Coffee milestone one. Career milestone one. Well, not coffee. I think I've got coffee on the brain now. Okay, so... Alright, there's quite a few. There's quite a few. So let's go to rainy summer. Year six. Welcome to my personal rain cloud. I was never good at math. Since I have only three fingers on each hand... But I hear you don't actually need to know very much about math to complete these assignments. Right. For each two things in the inbox, add them together and put the result in the outbox. So, okay, inbox, copy to zero, uh, inbox, copy to one, add, oh, I don't know, no, no, no. undo, so I have that. And add it to zero. Move it to the outbox and rinse and repeat. Let's see what that does. Boom. We done did it. it. Fantastic. Alright, so I'm going to just branch off to the left here and create the, uh, finish this left path first, I guess. Maybe if we get to year 10, though, on here, maybe um, maybe if we get here, maybe like that's just it, game over career. We've, we've taken an early career exit. This optional area is for high-performing employees only. Is that you? Well, you're late. Seven years late. We need to make some changes around here. I want to see a 100% performance increase. From this point on, your performance will be evaluated with extra scrutiny. Okay, so this is probably what I was talking about earlier on with the uh, death wish thing. Okay, for each thing in the inbox, triple it. And outbox the result. So, we're going to take inbox. And we're going to do copy to one. Copy to... Sorry, zero and one. Because we're doing, you know, LB speak. And then we're going to do zero. Oh, hold on. Do we need to copy it twice? I don't think we need to copy it twice. Add zero. Add zero. Outbox. Jump. Okay, so we should end up with 21, minus 6, 6, and 0. There we go.
triple room. Woohoo! Woohoo! Okay, so in many cases, not possible to optimize both s simultaneously with one solution. Okay, so what is probably what well, telling us there is we need to um, we need to do things in a different order. We didn't, we haven't got like these on here, so maybe we haven't optimized these enough. Who? Oh, I'm gonna go back to here. What did we mess up on busy mailroom? There isn't a way, though, that you can speed that up. Uh, lightweight. I mean, you can't. You you can't change it. Hmm. All right. Oh. Let me know in the comments, guys, if you think I can do anything different with them, but I'm pretty sure I can't. So, anyway. Octoplier Suite. Times by eight. Alright, so, for each thing in the inbox, multiply by eight, and then add the result to the outbox. Using a bunch of add commands is easy, but wasteful. <coughs> you can do it. Can you do it using only three add commands? Inbox, copy two, zero. So if I add that to that, that'll give me two. Then if I copy that result, that'll give me another two. So yeah, okay, so then I add from zero, copy two, one, add two, one, copy two, two. Add to outbox jump. I think that's going to be right. So we should have um, 40 minus 16, 8, 0. Should be our result here. I think we did it. Did we do it in a we did. I think we did. Woohoo! All right. Let's go back to the Tetra Contiplier. What's Tetra? Is that 10? No, it's not 10. Multiply it by 40. Okay, so that'll be 2, 4... Eight, sixteen. So if I want to do my forty, right? Hold on, let's think. Let's think. Two. So we can double it for a start. So what if I take it, copy it to zero, then add it zero, which can be a two. Copy to one, add it to one. Add on zero. That gives me a multiple of five. So then I can copy to two and add two. That gives me a multiple of ten. I think. I'm trying to think. Is there a better way to do this? Four outbox 
jump. So, 280 should be the first one we get to. Well, it works. Is it the most effective solution? Let's find out. Doing 14. Doing 56, so yeah. I'm happy with that. Let's go back to the elevator. We can complete our first set of optional challenges. Huzzah! These ones are still, like, really annoying me now. Clear everything in a minute. Can I just like do a copy from there to the outbox? Can right, okay, okay, okay. So that makes things a lot simpler. to worry about things on the left. Woo! Alright, we did optimise it. Fantastic. So that just leaves busy mail room. Let's, let's just run it through it, because obviously we know this works. So, I can solve it with five steps less. How on earth do I do that? do that. Just throw everything out. The thing is, is there's ten there's ten items. You need three commands for each. So how can you solve that in 20... How can you solve that in 25? Oh, you can. Of course you can. Uh, you just do it like this way instead. No. What a paste. That's what the thing he was telling me before, I guess, wasn't it? Why wouldn't it let me... I don't know why it wouldn't let me copy. Oh well. So you can solve it in three steps, but if you want to do it in the quickest possible, like, moves, then you have to not use the jump, of course. It makes shaman shinch. So... I'll do it in 20 steps. Should do. Oh, I'm too short. There was more than I thought. Okay. Do I want another two? My bad. There we go. Green lights all the way. 
king of verbosity. Ver verbosity? Verbosity? Yeah, I think so. Verbosity. I don't know. Orange optimization award. I guess it's because we don't like the first section. Alright, so zero exterminator is our year seven challenge. Where do you see yourself in five years? Well, ten years. I have a note here from your other boss that says, From this point on, your performance will be evaluated with extra scrutiny. What a treat. Alright, so we know that anyway. So, send all things that are not zero to the outbox. You've got a new command. It jumps only if that value you are holding is zero. Otherwise, it continues to the next line. So, everything that is not zero. So, inbox, if zero, go back to the beginning. If not, it will drop down. Uh, so then, outbox. And then we're going to jump back to the beginning. That should work. Let's, let's test it, shall we? There we go. So, no, a simple way to like, introduce if statements, I guess. Woohoo! Alright, so. Zero Preservation Initiative. Year 9. It has come to our attention that the Zero Advocacy community feels the previous assignment was not inclusive. This time, send only the zeros to the outbox. What happens to the other numbers and letters? Management, leave that detail up to you. Alright, so, inbox, if zero. So it's another way of doing it, so this time we want to include it, don't we? So, if zero, outbox. That should do it. That should do it. Jump to the beginning. And... Yeah, so if it's zero, take it to the outbox. That should be it. Oh, we can't go to the outbox unless we have... Okay, so... Okay, so... Can't start the outbox. Let's do this then instead. Jump back to the inbox. Else we jump to here, which is going to the outbox. Oh, and then I jump back again. The So it's all a matter of ordering that. Five or fewer commands, we did it in five. 25 or fewer steps. Ooh, 28, okay. So how can we optimize that slightly? How can we optimize? So start the inbox. If it's zero, go to outbox, go back to the beginning. that. If we take that one out, though, nope, it's jumping there regardless, isn't it?
inbox, if it's zero, we could do that for a start though, because the first number is not zero, so go inbox first, it will ignore the first one, then if it's zero, no, because then... Zero outbox. sure how I can optimize that by three steps. All right, I'll come back to that one. It gives us something to think about. Sub hallway, year 11. Subtraction. I never learned that in school. Did you? We're a good team. All right, so for each two things in the inbox, first, subtract the first from the second and put the result in the outbox. And then, subtract the second from the first and put the result in the outbox. Okay, so, take the first, copy it to zero, get the next item, copy it to one, and then we're going to do Did I get this the right way around? I'm not sure. Copy from zero, subtract from one, jump. Let's see. I might have done this the wrong way around. Yep, did it the wrong way around. Alright, so we just need to do. Already got that in the thingy, right? So we don't need that one. Subtract zero. Hold on. What am I doing? What am I doing? Uh, zero to one. Subtract zero. Isn't that right? First. Second. Subtract that. Four. Come from zero. That's it. That's it. All right. Let's head back to the elevator. On that note, guys, we're going to leave it there for this episode. Thank you very much for watching. Please come back for episode number two of Human Resource Machine. If you've got any comments, as always, please leave them in the comments down below, of course, because we're actually going to leave comments. But until next time, I've been Nock. You've been awesome. See ya.